I won't lie to y'all. You absolutely should not watch this video if you haven't seen Attack on Titan seasons one through three. There are gonna be some major spoilers all up and through this thing. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five most shocking moments of Attack on Titan so far. So this video isn't going to focus on any of the moments so far that we've gotten in season four. I'm only going to cover things from seasons one through three. But before we do that, welcome back to my channel, guys. Anime Nay here. If this is your first time here, welcome. But if you're a returning watcher, make sure you guys are subscribed and you got that notification bell clicked on. The first moment I'm going to talk about is the moment Ymir becomes a titan. The moment this woman grabs a knife, slices herself with it, and completely jumps off of this tower, I was like, oh my god, is Ymir going to sacrifice herself? Are we going to watch another young scout die? But no, she was hiding a secret that none of us had any clue about, and that is that she was a titan. Now, I mean, I guess I should have expected that there are more titans running around seeing how there was Aaron and then we had Annie, but I just for some reason did not expect for Ymir at all to be this integral to the story. And the moment in the show where it happened, there was so much going on. Everyone's life was in danger and I'm sure everyone was watching the screen waiting to see how the scouts were going to get out of this one. Never once did I expect Ymir to come through and save the day. My next most shocking moment is Beast Titan talking. Seeing Beast Titan come onto the screen at all was enough, but then the added layer that this Titan can also speak and communicate in English? I mean, Beast Titan literally pulled up like, wait, can you understand me? I'm fairly certain we're speaking the same language. And I knew that once Beast Titan stepped into the scene, he was absolutely a force to be reckoned with. And as we've seen, he has continued to be a straight up problem for everybody. The next most shocking moment is when the female Titan straight up ran up on Armin, pulled his hood up, looked him in the eye, and just ran away. Her decision to not harm Armin was beyond shocking to me. Really at that point in the show, shook everything I thought I knew about Attack on Titan and left me wondering where in the heck we were about to go next. We meet the female Titan in season one, and at this point in the show, we had only met one Titan that also had the conscious awareness to not kill human beings, and that Titan was Eren. And at this point, that makes sense because Eren's character is motivated to kill all Titans and to protect the human race. So for the female Titan to have made the decision to not kill Armin really shook all of us as viewers and it definitely signified a slight turning point in the show for me. Our next shocking moment comes from the end of season two and that's when we see young Aaron Yeager finally using his founding titan power. You guys, he was up against the titan that killed his mom. If there was ever a time for Aaron to straight up elevate his game, then was the moment. I had no idea that was coming. I mean, I figured Aaron wasn't going to die, seeing how he is the star of the show, but I had no clue how they were gonna get us out of this one. But this Titan ability that we were introduced to in this moment is 100% a game changer. This Titan ability is definitely OC, and it's pretty understandable why it's caused so much turmoil, grief, and wars all throughout the world. And the moment we've all been waiting for. The most shocking moment of AOT thus far. When Reiner straight up tapped Aaron on the shoulder and said, hey guys, <laughs> me and my buddy Bertold over here, yeah, Bertold, um, we're the armored and colossal titan and all of the destruction and murder and just utter chaos that you've experienced for the past five years, well, it's because of us. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I literally cannot believe it. And at this point in the show, we aren't really clear if Renner is literally suffering from stress, multiple personality disorder. We really have no clue what's going on with him as a character at all. So when it happened, when he said it, it was kind of like, is he being for real? But then again, Annie was female Titan, so I guess 
he can be our Titan. I mean, this was the one moment in the show that I had to pause, take a moment, take a break, let my brain fully understand what was happening and tune back into the show. These two men that everyone completely trusts, I mean, Reiner literally was saving people left and right, were the cause of everything that has happened to an entire country of people. It took one of the most lovable characters and halfway through the second season turned him into a villain. And I mean, only a show like Attack on Titan can pull something like that off. Okay, you guys, time for some honorable mentions. Let's talk about Aaron turning into a Titan. But I can't lie, I kind of expected it. He's the star of the show. Was he really about to be eaten and killed? No. I thought that it might have been a thing where if you're bitten by a Titan but you don't die, you'll turn into a Titan. But I knew Aaron was going to come back, he was going to be alive, and he might have a Titan ability. And I also have to give it to the basement scene. Now, I didn't make my top five because at the point in the show where we actually get the basement scene, we were pretty much all ready for it to happen. I mean, the anticipation for this basement was out of this world. I mean, don't get me wrong, we needed to know all of the stuff we found out about Gersh's past life and life outside of the walls, but by the time the scouts actually showed up to the basement door, we were pretty much all ready to just figure it out like just just tell us what's going on all right you guys thanks for watching till the end let me know what you guys think about my top five moments and share with me what your most shocking moments of AOT was I'm so curious because this show was jam-packed with crazy crazy moments make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video